The audio silence script adds a silent audio track to a video clip. Some use cases would be to add a silent audio track to a clip that only has a video track, or to replace an audio track with silence. Run the audio silence script with the dash I option and then the path to a video file. Use the dash C option to specify either mono or stereo for the audio track. The dash R option lets you set the bitrate to either 44100 or 4800 kHz. The dash O option lets you specify the out file name. If you omit the dash C and dash R options, the script defaults to dash C mono and dash R44100. If you omit the dash O option for the out file name, the default out file name will be the in file name dash silence dash date and time. You can batch process all the MP4s in the current directory and replace their audio tracks with silence by using the find command together with the audio silence script. If you specify the dash C option, you can specify stereo or mono, and if you specify the dash R option, you can specify either 44100 kHz or 4800 kHz. I'll list the files in the current directory and we can see we've got a big buck bunny clip. I'll then run the audio silence script with the dash H option to display the help menu. You run the audio silence script with the dash I option and then the path to a video file. And then you use the dash C option to set either mono or stereo and set the rate with the dash R option. And then you can use the dash O option to specify the out file. You can see the dash C and dash R options as well as the dash O option are uh, actually optional. I'll then run the audio silence script with the Big Buck Bunny clip and we can see it's added a silent audio track um, to the clip to create a new video. If I then run FFmpeg and give it the new clip we can see that it's actually got an audio track. It's got an AAC MP4A 44100 mono audio track.